Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on the E36 M3 touring project and we've got the E36 touring on the lift. We're ready to get the 323 engine out and make a nice big space ready for the S50 to go in. So we'll take a quick look at what we're working with. We've just got your regular kind of run of the mill um, M52 B25, I think, which is two and a half litre straight six. Um, connected to an auto gearbox, had a nice easy life. So we're gonna get this out um, over this weekend, ready for a couple of guys that I know to take it and swap into their E36 compacts. That'll be pretty cool. This whole process, pretty similar realistically to doing it on the M3 itself. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, just kind of show you what's going on. Um, probably a lot of time-lapse stuff just to get it out of the way. But I'm looking forward to finally getting this out because this feels like a big step into actually starting the project, if that makes sense. So let's just kind of get on with it. Let's not waste any time. All right, first things first, let's drain the oil and the coolant out of the system. There's basically no way to do this without getting covered in coolant, I find. Oh, I forgot to undo the caps at the top. And then... How is it going everywhere? I'm coolant. Aston, these subframe bolts, am I better try and by hand or by gun? What, to crack them off? Yeah. Or I would always crack them off by hand first. Okay. Because if it does, um, I don't know, like if there's rusted or corroded or whatever, it'll end up rounding the bolt. Yeah. So if you crack it off first, and then you've got a bit of a feel for it then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of the first day. I've just been kind of pottering about, kind of going through, making sure everything's disconnected, all that kind of thing. Um, Liam and Dan are gonna get here tomorrow, and then it should be a case of just undoing the prop shaft, the um, engine mounts, that kind of thing. And this should be ready to come out, and we're gonna do it the same way as the E36, obviously it's E36, the M3 
where we drop it out the bottom on the subframe because I want to put the subframe then back on to keep this a rolling shell. Um, there was a few little differences. Mainly, I was a bit confused by this transmission cooler. Obviously, a manual transmission doesn't have that. Um, and then just fiddly bits like trying to get the throttle cable out of this was annoying because it's underneath where the M3 one's on top. Uh, in there, there's the gearbox. You can't see it, but in there is the gearbox ECU. And I can't for the life of me get that out, but um, the guys don't need that. So that's not a super priority. So yeah, hopefully that time-lapse so far has been semi-interesting. I haven't been doing too much for them. I just wanted to leave that time-lapse going and just kind of crack on. I didn't want to cover this too much, like I said at the start, because it is pretty much the same. So that's the end. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see you then. So it's the start of a new day. Liam and Dan are here and it's time to get the engine out. I got pretty far less today and I think now it's mainly just undoing fuel lines, the prop to the gearbox, and we should be pretty much there, ready to drop it down. So it's time to crack on, let's just get this out. That's the end of another weekend and as you can see the 323 engine is no longer in the touring shell which is exactly what i wanted to get done this weekend it went pretty well um, myself dan and liam none of us are actually professional mechanics so i don't think we did too badly obviously we have the benefit of a full professional workshop and professional tools like a lift engine table and crane so we had everything we needed kind of a bit all the gear no idea but we kind of got through it um, it went really smoothly actually, other than separating the steering rack from the um, column itself. That's a bit annoying, um, but it always is. They don't really want to come apart. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. We didn't manage to not damage the engine bay, which from what I can tell, which is kind of what I wanted, because I'm not planning to paint this. It was just, a, I'm gonna clean it up. I think quite a few other bits still have to come out of here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think there is bits and pieces that aren't similar, but what I do have now is the ability to go out and look at the M3 coupe shell and directly compare because they're kind of in roughly the similar condition. Um, 
so I can kind of see what is here that isn't on the other one and vice versa and kind of start swapping over bits if need be. Um, I can already see this bracket would hold the expansion tank on the S50, um, but here it's holding, I think that's to do with the traction control valve. So that's probably gonna have to be ground off here and then swapped over. Um, so there's a little few bits and pieces, but hopefully nothing too major. And it should clean up pretty nicely. Uh, kind of tempted to give it a little go now, but at the same time, um, we've had the benefit of a bank holiday weekend and I try not to do anything too late up to kind of the end of the day before work, just because I don't really want to be like tired and like that kind of thing before the next day at work. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. This has actually been done before what I should be the last video where I was stripping the engine down. Um, but then there's this video, obviously. Um, from there, I'm not too sure where we're going now. I need to kind of sit, sit down and figure things out. There's a few things I'm just waiting for. It could be a case of getting the reinforcements done on this, um, dropping the rest of the stuff down, or maybe we'll have finally got all the stuff off to powder coat, back and ready to build up. Um, maybe the engine, I'm not too sure, but it's kind of getting there. And this feels like the first real big step because I no longer have kind of like, I could no longer sell this car easily and sell all, and break the M3. This is kind of the first step into the actual project, if that makes sense. There isn't really a going back point easily now. I'll just continue to break this, which would be a real shame. So thanks for watching. Get down in the comments. Tell me all the things I could have done right. Tell me the things I did wrong. Um, just kind of general support, whatever you want really, just get down there. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.